Well, that's it, guys, man. That's it. The NBA Finals is over. Golden State has dethroned the Cleveland Cavaliers by a final count of 129 to 120. Um, Kevin Durant was the high score for Golden State with 39 points on 14 to 20 shooting. I mean, he was hitting some some unbelievable. He was just I really be honest with you, the guy's been hot the entire NBA Finals, man. And, and for the life of me, I do not understand why Golden State. Uh, excuse me, Cleveland did not double-team this guy in the second half. I would rather take my chances with Curry and Thompson and Green than Durant. Um, Durant's just a whole other level player. Like, like Durant's the type of guy that has the potential to become a top 10 all-time player. Curry is a guy who's good, man, but He's sort of like that lower echelon of great players. Like his his peak could be top twenty five, top thirty. Durant's a top Durant's the type of guy that could be top top ten. You know what I'm saying? You gotta double him, man. I, I didn't gotta get the ball in his hands. I, I didn't understand that the entire game, man. But anyway, Durant for the fifth time in his finals had a thirty point game. I don't know how many points he averaged for the series, but it has to be something like around 35, 36 points a game. Um, he's gonna be Finals MVP. Uh, Curry finally has a good game, thirty-four points. Um, Clay Thompson didn't really do much at all this game, uh, but Andre Iguodala had like what twenty points come off the bench. I said at halftime that they were gonna have to do something about these others having big games, and that others ended up being Andre Iguodala to a lesser extent, Sean Livingston. When I started seeing that, I said, they can't beat this team. Golden State has just too much firepower, man. It's, it's too much. I understand a lot of us, you know, we don't like this team, man. I still don't like the fact that Kevin Durant did what he did. When I finally saw that they won a championship, I'm, I'm happy for him as a person. But, like, LeBron last year, when they overcame that 3-1 mountain, I felt happiness toward LeBron because what he did was sensational. Two years ago, when Golden State beat Cleveland, I was actually rooting for Cle- uh, rooting for Golden State because that was a franchise that had been in the doldrums for so long. They hadn't won a championship in 40 years, and I was happy for them. When Tim Duncan won a title three years ago, I was ecstatic because I, I always felt like Tim Duncan didn't get his due as a great player. So when he got that fifth championship, I was happy for him. You know what I'm saying? Even when LeBron got his first ring against the Thunder... Uh, what was it, five years ago now. I was happy for LeBron, even though I didn't like the situation that he was in. You get what I'm saying? But this situation, I felt ah, like blah. Like, it, it was nothing. It was nothing there because we all knew that this was going to be a certainty. And this is what the problem with the NBA is, man. It's Parity has to come back. This, this is unfair. I was watching this game, man, and it's just... It's, a, it's an unfair team. I know a lot of Golden State Warriors are going to be like, oh, you're hating on the Warriors. Okay, now I'm hating on the Warriors. I was hating on LeBron. I'm telling the truth, man. The team, your team is, it's unfair. <laughs> it's, I mean, I know it's like some whiny thing to say, but you guys have on your team, potentially, potentially, four potential Hall of Famers. Two of them I know will be in the Hall of Fame. Other two I'm not certain about, Clay and to a greater extent, Draymond. But it's crazy. It's crazy. <sighs> but congratulations to the Golden State Warriors, man. I thought the officials was trying to get Cleveland back in the game in the fourth quarter, calling some offensive fouls, but Draymond and, them, uh, Draymond and all those guys, Kevin Durant, they won't have that shit. They was coming down, busting threes, throwing alleys, uh, just backing motherfuckers down, shooting. I mean, they was they were like, man, fuck this. We're in this shit now. That's what they did. Cleveland just does not have enough firepower, man. LeBron James shot the ball tonight. Uh, finished with 41 points. I think he had close to a triple-double. It was like 41 points, 13 rebounds, 8 or 9 assists or something like that. I think he averaged a triple-double for the series. He did get some... Um, Garbage points down down the, the stretch of the game. I'll say that, okay? 
he got some extra little points, you know what I'm saying, just to pad his stats. But uh, how, how does this go towards LeBron's legacy? Well, he's now 3-5 and five in the NBA Finals. He has a losing record in the NBA Finals. Um, I mean, it was a good game by LeBron. It was a great game. But even though he had 41 points, it's not one of those... I know it can sound hard for some people to understand, but it wasn't a dominating 41 points. Dominating like he put his stamp on the game, you know, even though they lost, you know, he – it didn't have that feel, man. It, it was more like a lot of those points just came in garbage time or when it didn't really matter, you know. Um – Tyree had 26 points, but faded a bit in the fourth quarter. J.R. Smith was strong for this club. J.R. Smith hitting big shots all game. I think he had like five three-pointers. Um, Tristan Thompson was scoring big for the team. I uh, wish he had rocked the boards a little bit better. One big difference in this game, too. Last year, Game 7 of the 2016 NBA Finals, Kevin Love had his fingerprints all over Game seven, rebounding, scoring, defense. Remember, he was the one who was guarding Stephen Curry and 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 led Curry until that miss shot. Remember that it was Kevin Love guarding him. Tonight, Kevin Love was non-existent. He was persona non grata <laughs> as far as you know having his uh, name etched in his game. I think he had like six points on two or six shooting, missed three free throws. A non-factor. And um, with this performance in the finals, I wouldn't be surprised if Kevin Love's name comes up again as far as trades is concerned. That's just me. You feel me? Um, LeBron knows. I, I'm going to be, I'm gonna, you know, I know I've been hard on LeBron, man, but that was the Jordan comparisons. Hopefully you guys see that he's not a Michael Jordan player. Okay, and, and I, I'm not saying that Michael Jordan would have led his team to victory against his team, but he's just obviously not Michael Jordan, okay? Just be happy with what he is, okay? He's a top five all-time player, and that's great. Be happy with that, man, okay? That's for all you LeBron fans, man, okay? Because I could really be going... If y'all be going into my comment section saying some fucked up shit, man... Or you're a hater, I'm going to make another video, and I'm going to start shitting on LeBron. A lot of times, you guys drive me into that shit. I'm being conciliatory, okay? I, I saw the guy. I saw him go out there and play his ass off. I said, he doesn't deserve to get shit on by me, okay? He paid his stats a little bit at the end, but all in all, it was a great performance from LeBron James. They're just going against a team that nobody can fucking beat, okay? They're 16-1. They have a 94.2% winning, winning percentage, greatest of all time, best in the 2001 Lakers, who I think had a 93.8% winning percentage. They're going against a team that probably nobody fucking in the NBA history probably could beat right now, uh, the way they're playing. Okay. Um, no one LeBron James during this offseason is going to contemplate I don't think he's going to leave Cleveland. I, I, it's hard to read this guy. I don't think he's going to leave. Um, I don't think so. But I know that winning is important to him. And he wants to put himself in a situation where he feels like he has a team that's capable of beating this team. So, he might. Cleveland's going to make a lot of phone calls this offseason. They were talking to a lot of people. It's going to be a lot of spaghetti dinner, steak dinners made uh, this this off season, man. Because they're going to have to really rebuild this team, and they're going to have to get some star power, man. The Browns are getting a little older. He he uh, he can't do some of the things he used to can do. LeBron two thousand seven possibly could have carried his team to a victory tonight. He can't do it like that anymore. Not to the extent that he used to. 
But that's pretty much it, man. Historically, how this has hurt or helped LeBron, uh, it lowers him a little bit, uh, just a tad. Uh, not necessarily like his historical ranking, but where people would project him to go. He lost in five. He has a three and five record in the finals. He's won less than 40% of his NBA finals games. His playoff career kind of hurts him historically a little bit, uh, considering how m many times he goes to the finals. So what this season kind of confirms to an extent is that in the East, the Cavaliers don't have any competition, which is why LeBron, or every team he's on, have a tendency to have a cakewalk to the finals. But then in the finals, they tend to, or he, tend to underperform. Kevin Durant, his stock goes up. Kevin Durant, in my opinion, was already a top 40 player going into this season. Going into this season. By him winning a championship and by him uh, having statistical milestones and production, Durant's now going to be in my top 30, definitely. Now, when people say, oh, you're only in top 30, you got to understand, like, Durant's only halfway through his career. I don't project when I do rankings. I, I, I go by what you've already accomplished. And if you play more and more, you get higher and higher. Durant was in my top 40 something going into the season. Westbrook had just cracked my top 50. Westbrook is in my top 40. Durant's cracked my top 30. Okay. Durant, by winning a championship, puts himself on another level. I think this team's going to stay together pretty much. Uh, the sky's the limit for the Warriors right now. They could become a dynasty type team. Um... Much like the Patriots. And I'm, and I'm being serious about that. Durant has a chance to really build upon a legacy uh, that can be matched by very few. So that's my thing with that. Curry, Draymond, Thompson, who did very little okay, in this game, they all won their second championship. Durant wins his first. I'm happy for him as a person. Uh, NBA has to do something. Last thing I'm going to say. NBA got to do something about parity in this league, man. Um, the NBA is the one problem that they have, which is why the NBA is plagued so badly by fanboys. In NFL, Major League Baseball, every team feel like they have a shot to win a title or a championship. Because almost every year you see a different team in the championship. Well, the NBA, this is going to eventually hurt them, man. Parody, I wish it was like the 70s when it was so many different teams going to the finals every year. And you really felt like your team had a shot. The 79 Seattle Sonics only won 52 games. The 78 Bullets only won 44 games. The 77 Trailblazers with Bill Walton only won 48 mm -hmm. games. You know what I mean? Uh, multiple games. Uh, the 60 win Bullets in 75 were upset by the 48, 47 or 48 win Warriors with Rick Barry and Al Adels and those guys and, and Jeff Mullins. So you get what I'm saying? I wish it were like that now where, where you actually felt like your team had a shot at winning a title, okay? The, the 68 win Celtics and 73 were upset in the Eastern Conference Finals by the New York Knicks, all right? So that's what I'm talking about. The, the lack of parity is hurting the NBA as far as uh, hardcore fans. We have to be thought of too, man. And uh, that's my only criticism of the NBA right now, man. It really is hurting the NBA with just two teams with a legitimate shot at winning a title. You know, that, that when well, Chris Paul most likely signed up with the Clippers, this hurts the NBA. But that's all I got to say, man. Tell me what you guys think. Congratulations to the Golden State Warriors. LeBron James, you're a great player, man. Um, I've been hard on you. You know, I did a little character I do, man. But um, you're still a great player, man. Tell me what you guys think.